Hello, everybody. I wanted to discuss a couple of things. Um, first of all, uh, for the, this assignment up here, I'm not sure if these writings are still there. I mean, um, you could just look at family processes and Leroy's discussion of race is there, and both of these are from your reader, okay? They're both there from your, um, your reader. Okay, not the text, but the, the reader. Okay, I do. I do think. Um, okay, I know Larose there. She, she writes about about families of color uh, in your in your reader. Okay, so uh, you know there, there's some uh, you know contrast there. I mean, the the, the the main one being that that because of uh, you know institutionalized racism. Um, there, there will be, uh, uh, you know, processes and procedures that uh, African American families have to go through that white families not ne would not necessarily have to. Okay, um, so you're gonna have to uh, uh, count and count your textbook. I'm sorry, the Larose and your reader. So people who ask that question. Um, that's, uh, how I would respond to that. Okay. I would look, you have to read, do your readings, drill into the readings. Those are drawing on the readings that are there, uh, in, in your, uh, your modules. Okay. So, uh, the other, the other issue down here, okay. Um, uh, is it has to do, okay. So then just write that up. Um, and it, it's kind of a methodological question. Please don't worry about your Tartan card number. I do not care, right? Uh, just, just, and, and the assignment identification. Again, this is old stuff. It's, it's hard baked into this, and I've been trying to clean this stuff up for, for, uh, um, a, a bit. But, it, but I mean, don't, don't worry about, uh, don't worry about, uh, those IDs. Just give me your name. Stratification the family's uh, assignment and drop it, you know, just and, and then my name and you'll be fine. And please include your section 00 or 01. Okay, I'm making this video for both classes now. Uh, down to the gender as discussion. Oh, insulin, incidentally, parenthetically, I've extended both announcements or both assignments to the 20th so that we have time to do this. Uh, there was some question about this, and it's a little counterintuitive. And let me let me show you, let me walk you through what this looks like. First thing I'm going to do is go up here, and I'm going to switch to uh, the student view, your view, okay? And I'm going to go over here to, um, let's see, uh, we'll go over here to content and go back down to the gender module five, okay? So I'm looking at this just as you would, okay? Um, so it, there's a link here, uh, you, you click on the new post link, you go into the discussion form and you click new, start a new thread and you write, you write in the thread and you re please respond to two of your classmates. Okay. Um, but here is what you're going to need to do. Okay. Um, let's go back up here. Um, let's take a look. It says use any of the ads on the web pages you read, any of them. On the, okay, and I'll show you where the web pages are. Create an assumption for constructions of gender that are associated with the sexes. Now we, we looked at some theories. We looked at a, three theories that, that that explain gender. One is the social constructionist theory. It's a symbolic interaction. Uh, that gender is a social construct. Okay. And that we, we, you know, we draw on gender as a social construct from our environment, from our families, from the media, etc. Okay, so um, and the other is that gender has complementary roles, male and female, masculine and feminine. That's a functionalist analysis. And the other one is that gender is inherently unequal, okay? We don't have to address all these series. When we're talking about social construction, we're talking about what symbols do we draw on, okay, 
to craft expectations of what it means to be a man and a woman, first of all, and then carrying this into family, what it means to be a husband or a wife, um, or, or assume those, those functions if you're in a cohabiting situation, or a spouse, or, or what, what, uh, uh, and what assumptions are there about, uh, uh, you know, families and parent? Uh, a lot of this has to do with courtship, a topic which, we're, which is kind of nice and juicy, which we're going to be discussing in a couple of units here, right? But let's wor work through this, okay? So I'm going to click on this gender ads project here, okay? Um, hopefully, uh, this, this is, you can see this. Um, you know, I mean, uh, uh, down here, let me, let me pause for a moment and, uh, get back. So it might not be, it, it's kind of counterintuitive. Okay. What, and people are going, where do I go now? Please, you're going, hopefully if you're watching this video, you, you know, this will explain it and you won't be contacting me going, I don't know what to click. I don't know where to go. Okay. Uh, if you get on here. Um, they're going to click roles, okay? And and so roles are going to be, um, when we talk about gender, they, there is a section for, for on, on men, right? Because gender, we can't just assume that men are genderless and that the only gender is, is women, right? You know, there's a similar argument made in terms of racism, you know? I mean... What they do, and this is not immediately evident, but if you see down here, right, they've got these different roles. Mothers, strippers, normalized, dominatrix, dolls, naggers, and nymphos, right? These are, uh, these are, uh, this is kind of fun. These are social constructions that, um, the, uh, uh, the, the people who gather this, Sut Jolie is a person's name. Uh, this is Scott Lucas down here, another person, uh, who, who put these, this website together. Um, and they were talking about, you know, um, you know, how, um, how advertising shapes the expectations that we have. Okay. Uh, you know, for gender roles. Well, let's look at mothers. Okay. And so that you click on roles one and, and it has a little background there. And what you're going to do is you go through these ads. What do they say? Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, um, you know, every day is Mother's Day. She's doing laundry. Okay. Uh, pregnant, uh, you know, I mean, uh, get back to the job that really matters. Mr. Clean. Okay. Uh, are you pl running out of time to plan your bachelor bachelorette party? Okay. Um, it's, a, it's an ad for a bachelor or bachelorette party at a gun range. Okay. So, um, you know, what this is asking you to do is just to, you know, do kind of an analysis of this. You know, let's look at, um, you, you know, what, what does this tell us about expectations for motherhood? And you have these intros up here. So I, you can look through these. I mean, here's strippers, right? Um, you, you know, um. There's a bunch of these, right? Because they predominate in advertising. There's like a whole page. So I, I would go through, just go through, look. Here's normalized, okay? Um, one of the major mechanisms is a categorization of people into normal and abnormal, right? So these are, you know, you, you can look, and if you look at the male image, there, there are normal images for men, too. Right. And what I would do is I would suggest that you, you, you know, um, you, you can look at the normal, normal, um, views for men and the normal views for women here. I won't, I won't, I don't want to carry on too long here. But what this tells us is that there, there are idealized types. Okay. What does this mean? Well, it has an impact in terms of rational choice. One of the theories we looked at um, you know, at the, uh, social construction, the micro level theory. Okay. Uh, it's a theory. Uh, if we look at this for men and women, this is even says male normalization. Okay. 
Men and women are shaped by this in expectations for whom they want to find as a potential mate. Okay? that That's the insight there. Okay? So, what else? What's another way of looking at this? Well, okay, uh, functionalists uh, of the mid-20th century, one of the theories you looked at, said that these ideal male and female types were perfectly legitimate. That, that they helped to organize society. I think we know now that that was pretty flawed thinking. Conflict theorists, on the other hand, would argue that, this, that, that these images and the cultural constructions of them and the way that we are socialized at the micro level support a system of inequality. You know, where men and women... Um, Women have to meet impossible expectations of, like, body uh, issues. And, and now, and so, do, so too do men. So please look at that, you know, as you, as you go through your discussion. Pick a couple of these and just, you know, play around with these ideas. Read, that, read what they have to say about them. I would look, you know, if I were doing this, I would look at compare normalized women and, and, and compare normalized men. Okay, so when, please, when you get ready to discuss, you know, I mean, um, the gender ads form, you go down here, you start a thread, you, uh, you, you analyze a couple of these, and you, you put a link to where you found them, and you're good to go, okay? Uh, you've got until the 20th, it's the 14th, that's uh, six days, you know, rather than tomorrow night to do these and do a really good job on them. I look forward to reading them. If you post them, hopefully I'll be able to participate with you. Okay, take care and have a good one.